welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Marty and this is Sewing Nerd Confessions. My first confession for the day is I bought more fabric and we all know I don't need it, but it was pretty. What can I say? So um, I just spent the weekend at the original Original Sewing and Quilting Expo in Lakeland, Florida. And today I want to share my fabric haul with you. Um, the first fabric that I saw, and this comes from Sewing Studios, um, and they are in Maitland, Florida, which is probably a couple hours away from me. Um, this is, uh, the first fabric is a, probably a polyester, it has very much a shimmer in those tiny, tiny micro sequins that are iridescent. And I thought that would be really nice for the holidays. I kind of like to go against the grain and I like to do something a little different and not go with red or green. I don't know what the fabric content is on these because these are all fabrics that were on like a table and they come from New York fashion district. So I'm assuming this is polyester. What I probably will do is I probably will do a burn test to see what kind of fiber it is so that um, I can kind of know how to take care of it. I haven't washed them yet. This one I absolutely love. It is so soft. It's an ombre leopard print in a cool tone with pink, going from pink to white with little gray details. Okay, now this next one, I wasn't sure about when I bought it, but when I took it back to the hotel, I thought, oh, I really like it um, because I like to actually wear more plain fabrics. And so this one is a little bit more modern, a little bit kind of vintage vibe, which I like both of those. Um, and I do have to dress up for work. So I thought this could make a really nice pussy blow blouse, which I wanted to make this year anyway. So I thought that could be useful. And the next one that I have is a print as well, I told myself I'm only buying solid fabrics because that's what I need. I wear a lot of solids. <sighs> and what did I buy? Everybody likes prints when they see them, right? <laughs> this is a knit. I thought it would make a really lovely dress. Um, I think I might have enough to do a maxi. Um, I live in Florida, so it's pretty warm here most of the time. Um, but it's kind of fun to do like a floaty summer dress, maxi dress, so that, um, you know, it's just really perfect with the weather. We get to eat outside all year round. So it's just lovely. I do have to tell you the expo was a really wonderful experience. I have been sewing for a very long time. And I have never gone to one of the expos at all. I'm a self-taught sewist and I got to take some classes on fitting, on fitting on pants. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend you checking it out. Take some classes if there's an expo close to your city or even if you have to travel, you know, maybe travel with a sewing buddy. Hopefully you have one. This next one, I gotta tell you, I love it. Um, it's a little more colorful than what I usually do, but it's also a leopard print and it has a pink background and it has turquoise. I'll show you a little closer up. So that turquoise in there is the color of my house. So of course I love it. A few more. This is 
really, really cool. It's actually a mesh, so it's very, very sheer. Sure, it's polyester. So you can see how sheer that is. But one of my goals this year is to make some bralettes, um, something that I can wear at home and just be comfortable. Um, but if a neighbor comes over, I don't have to like cover up or, you know, be self-conscious <laughs> about that. So I am actually gonna use this, this mesh, in with some of my supplies that I've been gathering for bralettes or bras or undergarments or lingerie or loungewear, something to wear around the house. So, okay, this next one I had to get. Um, I believe it's 100% cotton and I really, really like to wear natural fibers. Um, they just, they feel more comfortable. I live in a very subtropical climate. Um, the color's not that great for me. So what I plan on doing with this check is I plan on either making a skirt out of it and then wearing a top that is the right color, or I'm thinking of maybe doing like either dyeing it like a solid denim blue over the top so that it's like a de ends up being a denim blue and a green check. Or um, I might just do like some kind of a tie dye on top of it. What do you guys think? Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know yet, but I'm gonna have fun whenever, whatever I decide to do, I'm gonna have a great time. My last fabric that I got is a little atypical for me as well. It's a floral. I don't wear a lot of florals. Um, I like prints that are a little more stylized, a little more modern, or a little mid-century modern. Those are the kind of things that I wear. And like I mentioned before, I actually do wear a lot of solids. Um, but this one, I just, it was so happy. I had to have it. Um, I also have a really cool yellow bracelet that I don't have a lot to wear with, and I just thought that would be super cool. So I probably will make a skirt out of this. I have some patterns that I'm gonna go through, and when I decide what I might make with these, I'll probably post a video sharing that with you guys so that you can see kind of what direction I'm gonna go with some of these wonderful fabrics that I got this weekend. So, I do need to tell you what I'm wearing. Um, unfortunately, the pattern is not available because I self-drafted it. Um, I took a blouse apart. I didn't like the color of it. It was a knit blouse and it was white with a little bit of black. It just it never looked good on me, but I love the style. So I thought, I'm just gonna take that apart. I could donate it, but you know, I really like the style of it. So I went ahead, I took it all apart. I laid it as flat as I could. It was a little tricky. And you can imagine with this knots and all of this going on, and this side has got a flap that comes down, this side's fitted. So uh, it was a little tricky and I thought this was the, actually the first thing that I have made a couple years ago when I started sewing again. I used to sew a lot. When I was younger, my mother taught me how to use a sewing machine and from there I was self-taught and I started making garments in junior high and high school and you know, I had never taken apart a blouse like that. So I didn't have any patterns. I wanted to sew. I found a, a sewing machine on Facebook Marketplace and I'm like, okay, I just wanna do something right away. So I took it apart and like I said, I laid it down really carefully, marked everything. Actually, a quick tip, I took pictures all along the way of every step that I did so I could reverse engineer it. That's a really good tip. If you have something a little complicated that you're taking apart and you're gonna be making something with it, I re highly recommend taking pictures. Next, I wanna share with you guys what I am going to be making hopefully this week. I'm back. <laughs> okay, 
I'm gonna make the True Bias Marlowe sweater for my daughter. And here's the line drawings. I'm gonna be making her the short one. Um, she really liked it. I did show it to her. I asked her if it was something she thought she would wear. She wasn't sure at first. She didn't really like it because she thought it would make her look really boxy. And then I showed her the back, the line drawings, and I said, I was thinking of making you the short one. And so I had gotten this um, fabric from Joann's and I will link it below if I see that it's still available. Um, but I gotta tell you, I always change things up a little bit, so it's kind of hard to keep up. Um, it, it's a green and I did put it in a dye bath and made it a little less yellow. So the colors that are available might not be exact. So here it is. And it's kind of an olive, olivey color. It's pretty bright in here today. So I think the sun might be washing it out a little bit. <sighs> yeah, just a little bit. And then I got these really cute buttons at Joann's and they're not quite the same color, but I think they look really good. So I'm excited to make that for her. I really hope I can get it done this week. Um, and so hopefully I will, we'll see. Um, my journey on sewing, it's very much slow sewing. I'm not a fast sewer. I can sew fast, but typically I usually have about 12 projects going on at one time. I, I'm not one, unfortunately I'm not as disciplined. <laughs> That's my other confession. I'm not disciplined enough He's a little crooked. There we go. Yeah, I'm not disciplined enough to keep with one project and sew it till the end. I, when I sit down to sew, it's like, what am I in the mood to sew? And I just kind of go with the flow. So I usually have about mm, 12 projects going at one time, unfortunately, but that's just how I am and I've accepted it. So, anywho. I'm excited that you guys have, um, are coming along with me on my journey, my sewing journey. I really appreciate it. Okay, so on this channel, um, I will be exploring all the fun details of sewing, going into the nitty gritty, because I love things that are hard. Um, I like to top stitch things that aren't supposed to be top stitched. I just, um, kind of like to show those creative details to personalize your wardrobe. And if that sounds like fun, join me. I would love to have you along for the journey. Um, now go be brave, cut out that fabric, and confess your seams down below.